this fence is a um, part of the Gilgunya land care cluster. Uh, just an idea from a few mates that we got together and just trying to control our grazing pressure really. It's mixed farming inside the cluster and joined a lot of timber type country and we had a lot of feral pig problems and, um, and we just couldn't get control of our paddocks really. Yeah, a big problem for us, especially breeding sheep, we're feral pigs, I believe. Um, you know, a good lambing for us was sort of 70, 80%, and I think probably 80% of that was due to feral pigs. Uh, since we've closed the fence, we've poisoned up the inside the cluster, poisoned and shot and things, probably well over 4,000 pigs. And this year was the first year that um, we've really seen the benefit of it and we've marked up to 125% in some mobs this year of unscanned sheep, so that's sort of unheard of in this country. Yeah, I suppose in our sheep operation, if we've, you know, six to 8,000 ewes and an extra 20% of lambs, you know, and they're making anything from 100 to $200, our share of the fence was a couple hundred thousand and we'd probably pick that up in lambs in the first year. We looked right through, we went every product, right from electric fencing to just an eight line fence to yeah, right up to this um, uh, Waratah fence. But we mainly looked at because it was over such a big area and pretty remote, some of it, that we didn't have to go back and keep maintaining it. We wanted a fence that we could put up and we knew it was going to be right. So, so we ended up settling on Waratah because it was a proven product. And um, yeah, it'd been around for a long time and they were easy to deal with. Yeah, well, if people are interested in putting up a fence, I'd go around and inspect a few um, different operations, like we're out west trying to control feral animals and pasture and crops and there's other people in spots trying to control dogs and things. Um, but no, it's, it's a big cost straight up, but if you break it down for two or three dollars an acre um, on your property, you can't do much for two or three dollars an acre and to increase your income by, you know, it could be any, it could be 20, 30 percent, could be more. So you're probably better off build a fence on your property you got than buy your neighbour's property and run the same amount of stock. Once we realised the fence was paying for itself, it was a big relief. We knew it was going to work, but we weren't sure how long till we were going to get the benefit. We sort of, within six months, we could see that we were starting to go forward. I really do believe the next drought inside this fence will be probably man-made because we can control what happens here now. It might get dry, but we can spill paddocks and things, but before it got dry, but kangaroos could have turned us into drought in no time.